we are in the last 10 days of Ramadan. That means about another week to week and a half, maybe two weeks max, before I will get to stay for the live training class after the fundamentals. Because we've got a thought in like a few minutes. And so, one thing I learned today, I learned the practical difference between mechanical strength and physical strength. The application of this came today when I was uh, doing drills with uh, Mr. Osama Khalid over at Gracie Baha. Finally got to a, f a fellow student, brown belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And uh, one of the things that he was showcasing that I was doing incorrectly was when I was in his guard, which is me, I'm sitting up, I'm on top, but he has his legs around me, right? And he's locked me in. And the question is, how do you pass the guard? Part of it is you gotta break that lock. And being able to do that is that you need to position yourself appropriately so that there's appropriate amount of pressure on his lock, which is basically the heels around the individual. And that pressure causes the heels to let go. But part of it in order to in, in ensure that happens is that the palm of your hand is right there on the solar plexus of the individual, right? The solar plexus, which is this, this spot right here, right, was one of the weak spots. In fact, if you're into striking martial arts, i.e. karate, muay thai, taekwondo, any of those, any t t typical martial arts, one of the, uh, one of the uh, uh, weak points of any individual, doesn't matter how strong they are, is the solar plexus, right? So it's basically this air pocket. You hit it, you can knock their wind out. So, uh, and this also applies in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, where you're not striking, you're simply applying pressure. But what I was doing is I was pushing, like a push up, right? Like a press. I was pushing. When in fact, it doesn't matter how much pressure you put through muscular strength, the opponent can always counter that through mechanical strength. And so, one of the things that he advised that I do, which made all the difference. And that difference was essentially lock out my elbow, right? Lock it out. Instead of trying to push it, lock it out, right? And then apply the entire weight of my body on the heel of the palm. And so as opposed to trying to push, 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 it's locked out and that way he can't get up. And if he tries to leverage mechanical strength against my mechanical strength, it's just going to be, uh, it'll be at a stalemate essentially in that particular move. And so uh, any muscular strength that I have further supports that structure, that mechanical strength. And so, and this is what whole Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is all about. It's about um, taking advantage of and understanding that the bone structure that you have and, and the way your joints lock up and the way that you can use leverage is the means to submitting. And this analogy is prevalent in the book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, not a fan of Robert Kiyosaki, uh, but this one concept, the idea of are you carrying buckets? Are you putting your own energy into something or are you working on building a system? And so imagine you have a system and you have roles within the system and then the energies and the muscles and physicalities of individuals are there to support the mechanical structural system that will always win out over a single individual trying to muscle it through uh, competing with a machine. So same, uh, same situation applies in life. When you have a system in place, you can apply your energies to further augment and be a force multiplier within the system. But if you run without the system, then uh, you're just gonna be, uh, you're gonna basically gas yourself out.